yo what's going on guys series here and in today's video i'm bringing you guys gsx studio gsx studio is a development environment for gsc in black ops 2 um, i know there's a lot of them out there well not really i mean there's a few out there but you know this is like those applications turned up to 11. i mean you've got memory editing rpc you got a better compiler faster compiler support for all sorts of stuff Everything's fixed from the original compiler, including switch statements. Uh, you've got a ray short. I mean, you got tons and tons of stuff. I can't even go over all of it in this video, but I will be making some tutorials on it in the following week. I'll be doing things like how to fix the antivirus situation, which is really only relevant to Windows Defender. But um, you know, I, I know some of you guys will have trouble with that, so I'll definitely be uploading that video soon. I'll be doing imports, stuff like that, but. In this video, my whole thing is just to go over, you know, some of the basic features of it and show you guys, you know, kind of why you should download it. Um, and as you guys probably already can tell, this is a free project, like everything that I do. So if you wouldn't mind, you know, liking the video, sharing it with your friends, um, I'd love to get some more people using this and some more feedback on how I can make it better because, you know, my, my whole goal with this is kind of to revive uh, the way GSC works because, you know, I definitely had a part in, you know, destroying it. So, uh, I love to try to fix that anyway um, let's go ahead and show you guys some of the basic stuff you've got your project management you can import your GSC projects which I'll be doing a video on um, you got connect attach inject whatever you got some extra tools over here which I'll be adding a lot more to uh, you guys can report bugs if you find anything in here go ahead and report a bug I'll definitely get it um, and then you guys can see kind of the project layout you've got your output directory which is where your compiled GSCs go. You don't have to like find a new folder and whatever, do all that crap anymore. It just automatically goes to your output folder. Um, you guys can see your projects are stored in your documents and your GSX projects. Um, and you got your Phoenix base. Uh, that's just my you know project file. And then you got your actual source files in here. Um, they're categorized by the actual GSC you're developing in because this supports multi GSC development. So you can do like client IDs and development ID or development DVRs at the same time. Um, you know all that stuff. Anyway, I'll go ahead and go into Phoenix and show you guys kind of the layout. As you guys can see, it looks just kind of like, you know, Visual Studio with the Sublime sidebar. Um, you got output. This is where you're going to get a bunch of uh, output about, you know, compiling, whatever you're doing. If you run into any, like, compiler-based issues, they're going to show up here. Um, your syntax checking errors is really what shows up down here. It has auto syntax checking, so if you stop typing for a minute, it'll automatically syntax check and tell you, you know, what are you doing? Yeah. But, uh, you know, there you go. Um, you got, you know, your basic syntax highlighting. Uh, this is some of the features implemented in GSX. You've got macros, where basically you can define this stuff and not have to retype it every time. Um, you know, this is just some basic syntax highlighting. Uh, but yeah, you guys can see as well, this is a pretty big project, so... I'm going to go ahead and compile it and show you how fast it compiles. Bam. Done. Less than three seconds. You know, in GSC Studio, that would probably take 30, 40 seconds. Um, so, obviously, there's a lot of improvements there. But, done rambling, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this. Enjoy the video. I'm going to go ahead and put, like, a montage of some of the cool stuff I'm going to be able to do with GSX Studio. And, hope you guys enjoy. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you have any questions, comments, concerns. Let me know how I can make this better. And, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.
Baby, and I can't break away. 